Well, sort of. They got craft for getting a hand job. That was Florida too. So stupid. It's so crazy. St- stupid. It's cool. Well, we were talking yeah. about it. Like, how does he not have a guy who can get him jerked off? Like, there's probably a lot of gals out there that would like to make some money. You don't. You don't have to go to a massage parlor. The biggest bummer of it is, is now my massage parlor's closed down. <laughs> That's the problem. I, where do I go now? That's, That's the question. problem. Where do broke Virginia guys go? <laughs> yeah. Well, the fact that they were filming you too. Like, so the whole thing is so strange. And and if there was human trafficking going on there. Right. What were, what were cops chilling there for like six months and right, some right, ongoing right. investigation? Like, can you save these poor victims? Yeah. If you, but human trafficking has become like this keyword. Mm-hmm. It's like this new sort of like fear mongering kind of a term to get everybody all up in arms. And now they're kind of backtracking on that. They're like, well, maybe it wasn't exactly oh, human really? trafficking. Maybe it was just more well, of a prostitution operation. That was the whole reason operation. why he was a horrible person because he was contributing to these people that were essentially being sold for sex slavery. Turns out that might have been a bit overblown. No well, pun intended. Of, blah. Overblown. But of course, that's kind of how they have to sell it, right? Otherwise, people are like, why are you wasting all this money on hand jobs? No one cares. You know why? Because solving real crime is hard. Oh, and dangerous. And dangerous. Okay, yeah. so you can go and pick somebody up for marijuana or getting a hand job, whatever, yeah. and you can look like you're you're being proactive. Yeah, but solving a murder, that's hard, man. That's hard work. Yeah. Hard, dangerous, and you know, you, if you go to a weird little Asian massage place and guys are coming out smiling, like, hmm, it's uh, you can start there. <laughs> yeah, you know, talk what about low hanging fruit. Really, no offense to wow. craft. I mean, you know, it's, <laughs> it's probably this older fellow <laughs> starts hanging. <laughs> Um, there was a, a weird law in Hawaii where they were letting cops actually have sex with prostitutes, like to prove that they were prostitutes. I think <laughs> nearly half the states in the union have a law that allow police officers to have sex with people in custody. What? Yeah. Really? I, I can't make the, How do you make this shit up? That's yeah, and they're hilarious. saying, oh, well, it was consensual. Because, I was like, consensual? They're in fucking handcuffs. What do you mean it's consensual? <laughs> like, what? That's human trafficking, if you ask me. Uh, I mean, well, not- yeah, and obviously they're going to try to make deals. Hey, I'll suck your dick if you get me out of here. Of course. Yeah. How is that? How is that consensual? How's that legal? It's crazy. It's yeah, crazy. There's the ultimate. Whole, I mean, you talk about people holding power over people. That's it's the ultimate. Coerced yeah. consent. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that is uh, that is more than an employer doing that to an employee. I mean, yeah. you're re- literally dangling their freedom. Talk about an abuse of power. Seriously. I just uh, look. I I have all daughters. I'm I'm not. I don't want anybody's daughter to be a prostitute, but I'm also 100% in favor of people being able to do whatever the fuck they want. And if someone's in a weird stage in their life where they'd rather jerk guys off than work at Denny's, like who's anybody to stop them from doing that? The only problem is the social stigma that's attached to it. The actual act itself is it's beneficial. The the person gets something out of it. You know, I mean, there, there's it's some people have a really hard time getting someone to have sex with them. You know, it's I don't see it that it's just a crazy thing that we regulate something that I mean George Carlin had a great bit about it. That's the only thing where it's illegal to to make someone pay for it, but it's fine if it's free. Like it literally doesn't make sense. There's nothing wrong with sex, but there's something wrong with people paying for it. And it's fine if you pay for it and then videotape it for right. distribution because then that's sure. porn. Yeah. I, I don't really un- first of all, it's a contract between two consenting adults. If we if we're talking about small government deregulation, let's allow two consenting adults to engage in a contractual relationship. Yes. Offer acceptance consideration as with anything else. The stigma, as you mentioned, a lot of that is part and parcel of the prohibition. The yeah. illegality of it is what brings the seediness. It's what brings yes. the danger. The, right. the, it, because it's forced underground, uh, you, you introduce all of these elements that don't have to be there. They exactly. could take place in clean environments. They could take yes. place instead of in the black market and underground. It could take place in a, where you can protect all the participants yes. involved, and it's it, it, it. But it's been true of liquor. It's been true of marijuana. It's been true of uh, prostitution, which they call for a reason the oldest profession. Yeah. Um. The, the second we introduce the prohibition, it creates a level of of danger and a threat to society that wouldn't exist if you're like, well, wait. What if you just let me smoke this? Yeah. What if you just let me drink this because I'm an adult making a responsible decision for myself? What if you just let me 
engage in sexual activity with this person who is perfectly willing to do it in exchange for some remuneration. Yeah. What the, why should anybody give a shit about that? It's so that? puritanical.